Alrighty, we are back. Welcome to Hogwarts. I don't like the Quibi thing I changed. Professor Ronan pencils all of it. I think I'm happy that Molly didn't finish it off. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed for partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Accio. 
That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good. Maybe everyone. she's That's enough mind, I don't know. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Oh, yeah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Hmm. Cool. <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one Accio. of your spears and relinquish your charm. That's it! Now, uh, think of this like... Splendid! Oh. I was so Very close to getting on the video. To Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss oh. Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, the uh, a little bit of oh, come on. Oh, excellent. Oh, she can hit mine. Cool. Oh, that's fast. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. 50. Nicely done. Here we go. Don't do it. Oh. That is how it's done. Akio. Fitty, 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 fitty. Let's go, baby. Oh, baby. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Very good. Lisa.
Well, I won. Fifty-nine frames is exactly what it is, bro. Come on. Bout is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Basta. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks Better. to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu School of Why is Wagadu? Where's the W? Wagadu. So, yes. Bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizard in school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until yeah, next time. Give me the desk there. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. A word, if, if you would. Spell you wanted to speak with me, that Professor. That seems kind of not good. Using Akio on a human. Up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is a <laughs> fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to is hear there from the wizarding regarding Let me kind of funny. assignment that I am preparing for you. Where is this On another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Ik speel niet. You'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. No. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. Yes. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Levioso. Levioso. What's the difference between Levioso now, and Guardian Levioso? Let's something a little larger. Oh, and I'm, 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 Levioso is like... Er... Attacking and defending. Like... In, like, a battle, kind of? And then, I guess when Guardian Levioso... Let us begin up. with the basic cast. See how the dump deflected your cast. Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent Levioso. is a good. Now, the basic. Well done. Start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. You did only Levioso, basic cast, and, and Protego. You may begin. No superfly? Cool. Levioso. This should be easy. <laughs> You're good. Now, perceptive. Protego. Stupid. Oh. Complicate things. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. Defending against they Doc are Ock. capable of achieving it, and they must achieve so it. I don't know if I should trust her. classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Grindelow. Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. 
All right. That's enough spectacle for one. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect Hello. a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. <laughs> Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I'd hate to face Professor Heck at my duel. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Question now, is it? Damn. I saw videos of people with their eyes are good. Good like that. Weasley asked the class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, V. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, Excuse, Dink. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I won I've everything. Heard as much from Professors Hecate and Roman. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? No, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonic from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Oh, great. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Oh. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Diagon Alley. Mr. Ollivander mm. is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I don't think I've ever heard, heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. 
I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. There you go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hi, I'd Sebastian. Like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand at sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh no, my allergies. Thank you. Ah, there you are. Professor Ronan. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Rebellio. Oh. <laughs> A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, one at the ready. At the ready. Yes, sir. One at the ready. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repairo. A 
That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice okay. mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I know we done that before. You would think a professor would go. Okay. Well. And nope. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left. Even though he's still in, I kind of like this dude. Well. I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place, self contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Shall we? Who we shall? Those robes look kind of I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention records. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve oh, me. Boy, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Those robes look fucking sick. Why have we never seen him before? Did you get from the librarian's bag bag? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Why are we walking? Oh, just breath? one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace wing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. It's big from the forbidden forest. Look, what's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Mm. You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Hippogriffs. Absolutely. Why do we already know? To the left is the forbidden forest, out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore? Oh, that's the past? cool. Nothing much. A little. 
It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to see. So, so. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the oh. class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you what all. What character has seen now, someone die? Cool. You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. It does look like Might be wrong. It looks like Thrustful. I've always thought Thestral's pulling yep, the carriage Thrustful. a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you like can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallows. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. <laughs> what did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. The Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is. Or rather, Revelio. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. <laughs> Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, this place I looks don't know if it's the shop amazing. People, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. We only saw it during winter time in the Harry Potter films, I believe. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Cool. Oh my god, there's a lot of things. Joke shot. Ooh, the three broomsticks. Same sign, it's not gonna be clear. Honeydew. Magic meat, shape of some potions, hog's head, ooh, hog's head, lavenders. Ooh. Lavenders. Marilyn Green's Oh, that's I'll cool. Right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Miss Lavender. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes. Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. 
Oh. Mm. Not the one for me. This isn't a good match at all, is it? We'll find you something, not to worry. That's all purple. Not you. I think I haven't. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heartstring. Let's give this one a try. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be true. Sure, it's gonna give me the one from uh, that one was that Harry Potter one. Um, was called. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be. Uh -huh. This is one from What do you think? I think it's the one. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. Yeah, all right, cool. The right wand will learn from you, What's just as you learn from it. My wand. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Perry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Perry Pippin. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Larwang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Perry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. 
They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Wing world, and do this. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. I'm broke. Or come back another time if you're in a clump place. juice. Doug bog. Ash window. Sleeping potions. Leech juice. Spider thing. Inch of the dead. Yikes. Mongrel. Fur. Cold. Ew. Focus potion. Thunder brew. Endurance potion. Invisibility potion. Oh, that's cool. Wing wall potion and max. I, oh, I can sell my stuff. Well, okay. I don't. I don't have a. Is it anything? Cool. It comes with scrolls and magic. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds that Professor Weasley arranged for you to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin Baining. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. Merlin you must be Bain. positively you must real. Be Harry Potter. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? <laughs> I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality you kind of reminds me of my grandfather. Ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to not pique your interest, I'd wager. Unless we... Fertilizer, Dittany leaves, Pokemon... Um, not red sprig, seeds, and silver. They shall fix. How about that? Yeah. Ooh. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcraft Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. 
But now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, so... Pots... Putting table with pots. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Oh, wow. Oh, that's everything. Beast Peter, go by Sebastian. Beast Toy Craft. Beast Toy Box. Cotton Station Toy Craft. Dung Composer. Potting table with two large pots. Potting table with large glass toy craft. Here in Refiner. Popping pot. This sounds like a couple pots. Popping pot. Potting table with a medium pot. Two medium pots. Three medium pots. Three small pots. Five small pots, yikes. Medium potion station. <coughs> oh. Just gas, bro. <laughs> Tea, maybe. I'm gonna buy this. Stuff for the same. Cool. Alrighty. Me, Sebastian, back on Zerko. I just walk through them. Yeah, you can walk through people. That's a great word. Sebastian. Hello. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed from sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Holy Jesus. Okay, second round. That's cool. This one, maybe they'll do it for us. Abada! Oh my god. That doesn't Oh, yikes. Ooh. Ancient... Ooh! That was 
Goodness. Ooh. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Did I you do that so. by yourself? It's a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of Honora, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Officer Singer. Oh. There the damage. Repair us. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill. Augustus Hill. Hello, the uh, extraordinary. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among Bad my inventory rags. are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes in thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Three. I'd say we've earned a bus of ear or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Ooh. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the Chug when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? <laughs> all you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? 
I yes, think they so. did. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Van Rock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. What a bear. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. But a beard on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> Timing. Great. The Rockwood. Was that Lord Lock I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Jeez. I said, my friend is busy. busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Oh, they're all full in. Can't be ominous. A lot of green. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Galleon. Can't drink butterbeer forever. You certainly could. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Yes, I have. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. I can take them. Trolls? Branrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. Best you don't know. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Oh, it's nighttime. Can I talk to you? No? There we go. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can <laughs> see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we could talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Oh. I would not. Staircase and all Seems amazing so far. I'll be into this video. See y'all later.